Hello, I'm back with part two of our baby shower haul. So like I said in our last video, we had a baby shower with my husband's side of the family and uh, some like friends, extended family, all of that. Last weekend, like two weekends ago, I guess, they all live a little bit farther away. And then my family lives almost like two hours away. So instead of making everybody drive, we just uh, had two separate ones so that nobody besides us had to drive to the um, faraway location. So we had my side of the family's a couple days ago and I wanted to do a little bit of a haul to show you what we got. I've been watching a ton of these videos of people doing baby shower hauls because I needed ideas for my own registry so hopefully this helps give you some ideas. Obviously our baby is not here yet. We have 39 days. Can you believe that? 39 days until my due date. He could come before then, he could come after then, but 39 days until my due date which is crazy. Like we're under 40 days. So. I haven't used this stuff yet, but this is what I put on my registry. This is what other people recommended. And this is what other people got me that they enjoyed and used when they had their kids. So I will do my best to link everything that I can down below. Some things are from my registry. So I know the links, some things people got just because they enjoyed it and thought they were good gifts. So some things I won't be able to link, but I'll do as much as I can in the description. And uh, I can even put my registry in the description if you want to see like some ideas of what I've had, I've asked for people for, to get us. <laughs> My brain doesn't work as well anymore. Pregnancy brain. So let's get into it. we did a diaper like raffle so everybody who brought a pack of diapers was entered to win a prize in the raffle so we got a few different types I got these loves diapers uh, size one it says I think we got a lot of different brands which is really good I got this parents choice which I believe is the Walmart brand one of my friends really likes this brand of diapers so I'm excited to try those those are size newborn and then we got Little Journey, which I haven't even heard of that one. Tiny Bundles, size one. And we got Pampers Pure Protection, size three. Oh, you can't see it, <laughs> size three. So we got, I feel like I had more diapers, but these are the ones I could find. Uh, so we got a pretty good stash going at this point. We obviously don't know how big he's gonna be when he's born. So he might be a newborn for a while. He might skip newborn. He might be a newborn for just like a week or a couple days. So. I'm glad that we have lots of different sizes to try to fit what we need. We also asked for people to give us books instead of cards, just because cards I feel like we'll put in a drawer or throw away and never look at again, but books, we're definitely gonna need books to read to him. And I think it's cute to have little messages inside. So I have a whole big box of books, various things that people got us. I'll show you some of them. I'll try to link as many as I can. This is called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats cute little board book. It looks definitely good for a little baby, which is perfect because I want to have lots of different age books. And then we have Wish, which is very cute if you have not read this book and you're trying to have a baby or have struggled to have a baby. This is definitely a good one by Matthew Cordell. Again, oops, throwing things. <laughs> Again, it works well for little kids because it's got not a lot of words and pictures. So that's good. We got Snuggle Puppy by Sandra Boynton, which looks very cute. Again, another board book, which is perfect. Everybody knew what they were doing here. We got Baby Signs, which is great, by Joy, pictures by Joy Allen. I guess she did it too. And it just has little signs like dog and cat. It hurts, help me. So we can try to teach him some of those early signs, which is great. Llama Llama Red Pajama, classic. Another board book. This is gonna be a good one to read to him at nighttime. This is by Anna Dudney. I don't know how to say these. I love you like no otter. The super cute little otters on the top. And then words by Rose Rosner, pictures by Sydney Hansen. And it's just a cute little book with otters. Who doesn't love otters? It looks like a hedgehog. Maybe there's multiple animals, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then we got I Love My Grandpa, which is cute because my dad's very excited to read to the baby. Doesn't even say who this one's by. 
I don't know who made this one, but it's very cute. Another board book. And we got two of these, which is great. <laughs> I feel like I've said great a lot. Uh, first 100 words. So it has like a bunch of different words with pictures so that you can try to help teach him some different phrases and stuff. And then my cousin gave me the same book, first 100 words by Pretty Books but they put a little picture of themselves inside with their name, which I think is so funny. So baby can learn them. That's on the first page. So clearly it's the most important page. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Then we got another, or the monster at the end of this book. This was a book that I read a lot as a baby or not a baby, but like a kid. And it is like redone now where it has like pages that pop out and stuff and different things you spin and open. And I didn't even know that that was a thing, but I loved this book. So I'm excited to have this to read to him. And we got From Me to You by Patricia Hegarty. It looks cute. Or it says love for me to you. I missed the love part. Lots of different pictures. We got my first bedtime storybook Disney classics. Obviously Disney classics are good. So this has a bunch of different stories in there. And the last one is the Disney classics. These are the uh, little golden books. And it has a bunch of different ones. Alice in Wonderland, Bambi, Dumbo, Pinocchio, a whole bunch of different kinds of books. It's very heavy. So there's a lot in here, which I mean, they're classics. How could you like not use these? Next up, we got this baby wrap carrier. I think it's from Kia Babies this is what the front looks like. And here is a picture of it on. It's supposed to be good for everybody to wear so I can wear it and my husband should be able to wear it and we can carry the baby around. It looks like it should work for littler sizes too. So I'm excited for that. This was on my registry so I'll put the link for this down below. It's uh, the mystic gray color. We haven't used it yet obviously but I read good reviews about it so I'm excited to try it out. One of my friends went really above and beyond and got us uh, something that was very nice. Uh, this is the Nanit Pro. This is a camera for the nursery, like a baby monitor. And this is like a really nice one. I put this on here, not expecting anybody to get it for us, but just kind of as like maybe a group gift, but my friend got it for us, which I'm super thankful for. It has an app that you can download and you can track all kinds of different things. I will link it down below. Um, I'll probably even do a video on this if you're interested because I watched a few review videos about it and um, I can let you know how we like it. We haven't used it yet, obviously, but I'm thinking we'll put it by the pack and play when he's little and in our room, and then you can hang it on the wall above his crib uh, when he's older and get all kinds of data. You get like stuff about how they slept, stuff about their breathing, their heart rate, all kinds of things. So excited for this one. So this one came in this box, which actually I gave, let me show you the first one. I'll show, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'll try to find a picture of when I told my aunt I was pregnant. I gave her this shirt that says, I love my auntie. And then um, a little pregnancy test that said pregnant on it. And that's how I told her I was pregnant in this box. So she gave me this box back, she gave me this back, which was very cute. And oops, all stuck together. And she gave me this that says daddy's little buddy. And then this that says mommy's little hugger. So we've got everybody covered, auntie, mommy, and daddy, which I thought was cute. And this also comes with mommy's little hugger. And then it's got this onesie and koalas. It says child of mine. I believe that's Carter's uh, brand. This one also looks like Carter's daddy's whoops, little buddy. And then we got some trucks because boys like trucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then another truck and then we got a little pair of pants like little uh, gray sweatpants so I thought that was very cute and she gave it back in the same box that I gave to her originally and then she got us shirts that said mommy and daddy instead of just auntie so that was a very cute gift I like that it doesn't have like a name on it so I'm not exactly sure where it's from maybe a little dim sum this is what the front looks like but it is a bib but it covers everything so it's got arms it's got like sleeves it goes down over their chest it has a little pocket in the front so once he's a little bit bigger and like feeding himself or like even art projects arts and crafts this will definitely come in handy and keep like his whole outfit clean so not really sure where this is from but i'm sure you can find something like this on amazon because i've definitely seen ones like this it's like a really 
uh, slippery material so things will just like slide right off of there if it's food and dirty and whatever so that's very nice and we got a bunch of random things in this bag so i'll try to pull them out uh this was what we had on during the shower so this says beast behind the bump and there's one that i had that said beauty and the bump i'll put a picture in of me and my husband so we had those on while we were at the baby shower which was very cute definitely disney themed which i loved uh they got us thank you cards which was nice have to work on sending those out we got the bordeaux i think is how you say it butt paste this is like a diaper cream a lot of people talk about liking this one, so I wanted to try it. Got Little Remedies Gripe Water, which is good for gas, colic, hiccups, and fussiness. A lot of people recommended this to us and said that it was very useful for their babies, so I'm happy to have that on hand. And a similar gas relief drops, more specifically for gas relief, but still from Little Remedies and still, I'm assuming, very useful, so glad to have that on hand. Got this pack of socks. I'll link this down below because this was from my baby registry. I believe it's like 20 pairs of socks, but it's just random. So some people said that they didn't really get like a good pack, but I feel like we got really good ones. Like they're all pretty uh, like cute and things I'll use. So there's like some different sizes too. Like these look like newborn socks where these look like maybe a little bit older socks. So they have a little bit of everything in here. These look like probably newborn socks, but there's a lot of cute ones in here. These look maybe slightly bigger. I don't really know how big baby's feet get or how quickly baby's feet grow, but I was pleased with this. So I'll definitely link this one down below. But these are cute. It's like a little mint uh, stripe sock. These ones are little star socks. We only have like three pairs of socks. So this is definitely very beneficial. And I gotta wash them all so we can use them all. Cousin got this for us. It's a bag full of uh, sensory balls. I'll link this one down below too. So they have different textures, uh, different like, they're kind of like, like, I want to say dog toys, but I feel like that's not a good way to describe it. But they're different shapes and textures and things for them to grab onto. This one has a little rattle inside of it so the baby can kind of like chase after it. My dog probably will also like these toys, so I keep an eye on her. But I thought this was really nice because you can use this in a multiple different stages of babiness. I have a few things that are downstairs still and too like heavy and big for me to carry up here by myself. So I'm gonna talk about them and put pictures in and I'll link what I can down below. Uh, one of them was this like wed, wed, red wagon that I got. I thought it would be good for like going to the park or going uh, to like soccer games or there's like an amusement park fairly close to where I live that we could even bring it for that. It's just kind of like a versatile wagon, maybe even like in the neighborhood or festivals or whatever. So that was really nice. Um, we haven't put it together yet, but I'll put a picture in, show you what it looks like, put the link down below. I thought that looked very nice. One of my friends sent some stuff on Amazon. It should be getting here tomorrow. So I don't have any of that yet, but I believe one of them was a a uh, bathtub, which we definitely need. Haven't tried it yet, but it looks really nice. Uh, one of them was like a little toy. And then one of them was a bottle drying rack, which I plan on breastfeeding, but I also hope to be able to pump at least a little bit so that my husband has an opportunity to feed the baby as well. And I have an opportunity to sleep more than one hour or less at a time. So I will be hopefully having some bottles of breast milk as well, and that'll be a perfect place to dry them. Um, I have another friend who sent a, a, a stroller, like, carrier I guess it's like a bag that you attach to the stroller where you can put your phone and your wallet and keys and whatever else you need to hold the stroller that we got which I'll put that in here as well it's the Graco um, nest Graco modes nest stroller I think is what it's called <laughs> I'll put a picture in but we got that one it's downstairs we put it together now it's just like sitting in my family room taking up space <laughs> But that one had lots of good reviews, so I'm excited to try that one out. And then I do have another car seat base that my cousin got for me. I'll put a picture of that in too. That is, yeah, Modes Nest uh, Graco by Graco. And so now we'll have a base in my husband's car and a base in my car so that we don't have to keep like moving it back and forth. We can just use whoever's uh, car it is in. Uh, my cousin also got me a breastfeeding pillow. My breast friend, it's still in the box, so I'll put a picture in, but I'm excited to try that for breastfeeding. It looks nice and convenient and more comfortable, and I'll probably be sitting in this exact chair breastfeeding the baby, so excited to have that one. 
We also got a high chair from my dad. I wanna say it's Graco brand, but I could be wrong. Uh, that's still in a box and I couldn't carry it up here. So I'll put a picture in. I'll also link it down below. But I didn't do a ton of research on high chairs, but this one said that it was uh, compact and folded away. And we don't have a ton of room in our kitchen to store a high chair. So I thought that it would be handy that this one was smaller and could fit. So I don't know where it's gonna fit, but it's gonna fit somewhere so that it's not just constantly in the way. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I bought some things myself as well. I went through our registry after our baby showers and bought like 10 items that were still on the registry that I felt like we needed. So I can link those down below as well. Um, it was, I'm trying to remember what it was. Let me try to look, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I went downstairs to go get the things. Uh, so these are the things that I bought off of my registry. I will link them all down below. There's a few things we don't have yet. One of them, I can't breathe from going up the stairs. One of them was a like pad for giving the baby a bath where it goes on the floor for you to kneel on and then on the edge of the tub for you to kind of lean on. I know that when I give the dogs a bath in our bathtub that it hurts my back and my knees to be like leaning over. So I thought that this might help. Um, that'll be coming tomorrow. And then I got this like butt paste wand. I don't even know what it's called. I'll put a picture of it. People were recommending it. It was only like six bucks. So I figured I'd give it a try. We have diaper cream now. So it's like, instead of using your finger uh, to put the diaper cream on, you can use this to like not get your fingers all messy. Seemed useful. Um, what else did I get? I got one of the uh, swaddle wraps for the Nanit for that camera that I have, the baby monitor. Uh, it like, it helps to track things with the camera. So I got an extra set of those swaddles so that we can use that with the baby. Um, trying to think of what the other thing was. I got uh, these wet bags um, that you can put uh, swimsuits, you can put dirty diapers, you can put dirty clothes in. I thought it would be handy to keep it in the diaper bag so that if we ever have like, a poop explosion or some sort of really big mess. I can keep things in there to bring them home and not get like the entire diaper bag all gross and disgusting. So that seemed useful. And then let me show you what I got here. These are the things that came today. So I got this Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo. Was it super expensive? It smells pretty good actually. It just smells kind of like soap. It doesn't really have a strong scent, but I have a whole bunch of different types of baby wash to see what works best for the baby. I know some babies can be allergic to certain kinds of washes and stuff. So I got a wide assortment to try to see. This box is like super beat up. I don't know what happened, but it looks like everything's still in there. It just looks kind of rough. This is the lanolin uh, nipple cream. People were recommending this for breastfeeding. So I thought I would get a little pack for myself to try. I think they might also give it to you at the hospital. And then I got this cute little thing. I believe this is Carter's brand. It's a hooded towel. So one's a duck and one's a hippo, I think. And then it has a couple washcloths with the ducks in the back. I'll put a picture in this so you can see what it looks like. This was a set of sheets. They were on a pretty good sale. There's two of them in here, a gray one and like a tealish bluish green one uh, that I thought we would probably need extra sheets. I have other ones that are cuter and uh, definitely like more expensive, but these I thought would be good if I'm ever up in the middle of the night and he makes a mess in his crib and I need to change it. I wanna have backup sheets so that I don't have to wash them immediately. So that gives us, I think four pairs of sheets which I really hope that we don't have four pairs of sheets all dirty at the same time. Um, I got this, this was from Kindred Bravely. It's reusable um, breast pads. So you put it in your uh, breastfeeding bra for leakage and it's reusable. So you don't have to keep buying more. I believe you just throw them in the wash and can wash them and then use them again. So that seemed much more beneficial to me than having ones that you throw away. And then this I thought was really cute. This is my first family album. Um, my cousin that put her pictures in the one book inspired me to get this, which is just says my first family album. And then it has these pages that you put pictures in and then it has labels and you can put people's names on there. And then it's like a flip book for the baby that like you can put mommy and daddy and whatever your baby's name is and like important family members, you can put the dogs. So that's kind of like flashcards almost of names and pictures and they can look at them and study them. And I thought that was cute. And then in the back is a mirror so baby can see themselves. So 
uh, one of my cousins, I believe, actually had this as a baby. And I always thought it was really cute because they loved looking at the pictures. And then when they were older, they would like proudly show us the pictures. And I thought it was very cute. So my baby will have it too. I think that's everything. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I did get this. This is, I bought this for the baby's coming home outfit, which I'll do like pictures and videos of, but going home to meet my pups. And then it has Ellie and Noelle on there. And then I'll pair this with a cute little pair of pants. And it'll probably be cold. So I'll put a little blankie over him. But I was excited to get this in because he could be coming soon. You never know. And I want to have all of his stuff ready to go. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you gave us one of these gifts, thank you so much. I'm so appreciative for all the stuff that everybody got for us. We have like way more than we need and we are so lucky to have all the stuff that we need. Like this baby is like set. There's basically nothing else that he could possibly need. And if he does, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Um, I will be doing a video of packing my hospital bag now that I have all of my stuff. I was trying to wait for a few things um, just to like have it all together, like his coming home outfit. Uh, I have the breastfeeding pillow now, like little things like that. I wanted to make sure I had before I packed the hospital bag. I'll also be doing a video about the dresser that's behind you and my organization of that now that I have everything and need to figure out how to organize it because there's a lot of stuff. But lots of exciting videos coming. I only have... 39 days left until my due date. So baby could be here at any point. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Bye.